The boy Lupton is not a one-trick pony. When he's not throwing falcon eagles pellets shot and bullets into the air, he's launching arrows. Today he's putting in some string pulling practice for an upcoming trip for fallow and boar. Bow hunting is all about getting close to the animal and, and that feeling of, of actually being a little bit more involved with the hunt than you are with a rifle. And that, that's what appeals to me. So for me, I always try and keep my shots a little bit closer. 30, 35 metres is really my maximum that I'm comfortable to hunt at because I like to know that my shot placement is going to be 100%. So French France for Roy, and to warm up he's embracing the culture by trying to crush a grape, and first a slightly bigger target, an egg. Or should that be an earth? It's exactly the same as when you're rifle shooting. When you're on an animal, you want to pick your spot and aim directly at that spot, so you're aiming small, so you're not just looking at the animal, sort of going front third, halfway up and shooting. You want to try and concentrate on that point that you're shooting at. Position your, your, your pin or your sight on it, whether you're shooting with a rifle or whether you're shooting with a bow, and release. So on the on an average size bore, yeah, you're going to have a, a decent sized heart that's going to be bigger than your fist. So as long as I can hit an egg first shot out to 35 yards, then I'm quite happy with that. Well done, that man. Now he wants to outfruit William Tell with the grape. I'm going to try the grape at 20 metres to start with. <laughs> that looks a long way off. That's a very small grape. <laughs> Bigger grape. The boy is on fire. So he's shooting straight, but it doesn't mean a shot on a wild animal is going to be straightforward. Roy needs to work through some angles, as shot placement is vitally important with bow hunting. You haven't got the full back position of hydrostatic shock. We start around the front, then broadside, then quartering away. So as I'm looking at him, I know that the, the heart is going to be almost directly behind or in line with his front shoulder there. But with the shoulder of most animals, it V's forward. So you want to try and tuck it in there to try and get the penetration through the heart and the lungs. So we'll draw back. Through there like so. So as you can see, the arrow is going to be traveling directly in, hopefully into the top of the heart, into the lungs and we should have had a very nice path through there. It requires pinpoint accuracy and knowing the animal's anatomy. So from this angle we've got a quartering away shot. If I put my point of aim at the same place we were just shooting when we had a quartering on point, then that would miss the vital organs completely. So again, you've just got to make sure you remember exactly where the animal is and think about where the anatomy is. So I'm going to shoot in line with his opposing leg or just in front of it so it goes through and we hit the vital organs coming in from this side. So with the angle like that, that's allowed the arrow to pass right through the vital organs, so again causing maximum damage, and I doubt he would have gone very far at all. However, the boar in the shadow and the sun in Roy's face is making life tough. And that's a, a, another good demonstration why practice is vital. So even practicing on the 3D here, I was looking at the animal, but my sight picture was disturbed because I had the sun shining, shining in through the peak and so I couldn't quite make out the definition of the animal properly and I was looking at the leg trying to position just off the leg but I took my position off the back leg rather than the front leg so now I've put the arrow just slightly too far back so what I want to do is come forward another couple of inches there that would still be a kill shot but it's not the kill shot that I'm on. This shows practice is never wasted, and it's probably sensible not to keep your target in one place. The last thing to consider is a high seat shot. Again, the placement of the arrow will be key. If we're shooting from a high seat, you've got to again think on your angles, on where you're shooting through, and obviously your different trajectory with the arrow as well. So if we were shooting an animal broadside on with a high seat, we're going to be shooting down at an angle like that. We want to make sure so we're shooting a little bit higher to allow the arrow again to pass through the vital organ. So Roy's all set for French boar, and if he sees the grape, feels the grape, is the grape, we should be fine.